the Megalodon, the largest apex predator to have ever swam in the ocean. Well, actually, not quite. And this isn't even the deadliest Megalodon in uh, Maneater, because this is just a naked shark, although I think it looks really good. Unfortunately, if you just want to look like a traditional shark, you're not going to be at your deadliest. So I'm going to strap on some end game shark evolutions before we go after the Apex Orca, which is, I think, supposed to be one of the last we'll bosses. To the grotto for refuge and quiet but this is, uh, this is it. This is the end game of Maneater. I've got pretty much everything. Once I kill the Orca, we will have everything. I've got Shadow Tier Teeth. Well, Tier 5 Shadow Teeth. I got the uh, Bioelectric Head. Shadow fins, almost a full shadow set. I have a full set of almost everything. And once we kill the Orca, we will have a full set of all the endgame gear, and we're gonna go on a Megalodon rampage. Unfortunately, the Megalodon isn't as big as you may think it would be. It is the Megalodon of Maneater, it's the biggest shark in Maneater, but because you have to fit in the sewer pipes. <laughs> It's not as big as you might assume it to be. But I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna stand in our way, including this Apex Orca. Killer Queen. Alright, well, I mean, it's a Shamu Orca. <laughs> they even have her, her top fin kind of um, swaying off to the side a little bit. Oh, that's kind of sad. I almost feel bad about killing her. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome! Tomorrow is the uh, Arnie DLC for Predator Hunting Grounds. I'm actually really excited about that because Arnie is awesome and uh, he's one of the best action heroes ever and he's gonna be voicing Dutch from Voodoo and uh, that's really cool. Arnie didn't even voice um, the Terminator DLC of Mortal Kombat 11 but he's voicing, for some reason, Dutch in Predator Hunting Grounds, which is kind of a surprise, but I welcome it. That game has its problems, but it's pretty damn fun. Also, as you can see, we're moving a lot faster than we did in the last stream, and that's because the Shadow set is uh, the fastest set. Sure, we could avoid catastrophic risks for future generations, but then we couldn't have 4x4 four four pickups with 5.7 liter V8 engines. Oh, Jerry, never change. Whenever Jerry Smith or Cyril Figgis, depending on where your fandom lies, whenever he talks, I'm just gonna be quiet. I gotta say, these teeth do look kind of, uh, look kind of strange, almost like a vampire shark. Anybody remember Banacula? <laughs> it's like that, but, you know, a shark. Wow, that was like it was nothing. That was a hammerhead. We used to have trouble with those. So, like I said, this is the end game. I've almost 100 percent at everything, and I've been playing for about 10 hours total. I gotta say, I've been having fun with it, but it, it's pretty easy. And I feel like this Orca, this, what I believe is the last Apex Predator, is gonna be a piece of cake. Anyway, I'm gonna give it my best shot. The Orca is just behind this, uh, broken entrance to what used to be this Florida's version of SeaWorld, and uh, yeah, let's just give our best shot. The white and black attack, the orca. She actually looks pretty damn scary. I've got a phobia of large things underwater, especially orcas and sharks. All right, she's actually got a pretty big health bar. That was not quite expected. <laughs> Do we have anything else in here? Great, I'm gonna have to use these seals and mahi-mahi as cannon fodder. Oh, crap! Alright, she, um... <laughs> she just humiliated us. That thrash is actually pretty damn dangerous! You know what? I took back everything I said. Everything has been easy, but maybe this Apex Predator is gonna give me my a run for my money. Maybe all of that was just softening me up for this final battle. Although technically there's gonna be a final, final battle, and that's gonna be against Scaly Pete. But my best bet for this is probably gonna be grabbing fish and turtles and seals and throwing them at the orca. 
If I can get a clean shot. There we go! It's estimated that only one out of a thousand sea turtles lives to adulthood. That means this turtle is quite the survivor. Damn. I mean, it's not too tough, but... She deals a lot more damage than the other sharks. Or, um, even the alligators. I actually think the alligators are the toughest enemies in the game. The Great White was a piece of cake. Great White? More like Great Wipe? <laughs> wow, that was a... I don't even know what... what, what that's supposed to be. A punning. Looks like it's covered in oil. Did that orca just piss itself? Kinda looks like it. Well, that's kinda sad. Did we bite off its... It's choking on its own ink! I have a feeling that was supposed to be an attack directed toward us. Next to the vicious sea otter, there is no more feared ocean mammal than the orca. Okay, that was a good shot. Did you see that? That is how we're gonna beat this thing. Not that we actually need that tactic to beat it, because we're doing pretty well, as is. Let's grab another seal. <laughs> the common dolphin fish is distinguished from the pompano dolphin fish by its concave anal fin. That's what it's called. Why is that so funny? Thanks, Jerry. That's very helpful. All right, we got this. Yeah, you know what? That actually turned out to be really easy. There needs to be some sort of a parry system. Make it like a fighting game. Orcas, once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trick, killing things. Actually, that was always the orca's favorite trick. You ever hear about those Shamu handlers at SeaWorld? Yeah, sometimes they didn't get too pretty. Actually, there have been a couple of deaths resulting from uh, SeaWorld's interesting management techniques, but we just, uh, we just officially entered the endgame. But we also unlocked some new <laughs> shark parts. <laughs> it's, you can build your own shark, or rather build your own megalodon specifically. The I think we just unlocked the, the bonehead. For the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. One of my criticisms is that we don't have any normal looking shark heads or shark anything. We got this bonehead, which looks like something from Street Sharks, and our fins. I don't know if you guys had these things, but they look exactly like those fins uh, for like six year olds, where they put them on their hands, they have a little shark mask, and they swim around a pool looking like a shark. Well, that's what that looks like. I mean, the modifications are pretty cool. Uh, the modifiers are fun. They actually affect your gameplay more than just modifying your stats. They change your dodge sometimes into disappearing into a bolt of electricity, or maybe it turns it into some sort of a, a spinning blender attack, which is cool. But it would be nice if we had something a little more grounded on the visual spectrum. Anyway, we're just gonna keep the, uh, the bonehead and... That actually looks pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll use uh, Tier 5 Bonehead and Tier 5 Shadow Body. Maximum speed with ramming capabilities. That's all well and good. I've actually, um, I've been enjoying this game for what it is instead of wanting it to be something that it was never intended to be. This was never intended to be like Jaws Unleashed. As much as I like Jaws Unleashed, this is far more arcadey. Which is fine because... I mean, it, it allows for making your own underwater street shark, <laughs> basically. Can you do an Optimus Prime impression? Yes. Except not right now, so no. Actually, my throat is really dry today, so I, I unfortunately wouldn't be able to do it justice. I'll try in a little bit, once I warm my voice up. But I can. I can do Megatron, I can do Starscream. I can, uh, sometimes do Scavenger. Took me three times to defeat the apex sperm whale. Let's see how you do. Each year, All right. North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, 
Leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. You actually instilled a little bit of fear in me. Apex sperm whale sounds like it's gonna give me a bit of a challenge. I mean, the biggest challenge is that uh, there's not a lot of depth to the combat, so it basically boils down to this. You deal damage faster than they deal damage or you die. Which I guess is almost every game, but the caveat is there's no depth to get to that point. Look at this hammerhead. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> he's, and he's dead. That's it. I hope that sperm whale he told me to watch out for is a whole lot more deadly than what we've been attacking thus far. Anyway, this is the very final zone of the open world. Uh, the gulf. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. They even call this area the best for last, so we'll see. But I think we're gonna stick with what we got. Also, we have one more human, one more infamy rank, so I saved all of the very final stuff for this stream. Oh, look at that. Kill ten hammerheads. We'll start with that. We also gotta destroy a yacht, which sounds pretty cool. A $2.5 million yacht. And... We gotta consume some humans. Of course. What?! You see that?! Boy, you came to the wrong neighborhood. Unbelievable. Hammerhead? More like... Blockhead? Oh god, that was terrible. <laughs> You're gonna build your first computer at the end of June? Nice! Congratulations, man. Um... Here's my advice. Uh, I don't know when the new graphics cards are releasing, but there's some new graphics cards releasing uh, toward the last half of this year. I would wait to buy a graphics card until the new line is released, because even if you're not buying so the new line... Like gusto for a particular type of prey, it's limitless hunger reigns supreme. Looks like we're here. This is actually a pretty cool looking area of the map. I gotta say, they do depth well. Anyway, even if you're not gonna buy the new graphics cards, or the new line, the new line will drive down the price of other graphics cards. So, it may be in your best interest to wait to buy that part. My best advice to you is to be patient, look for sales, and you use uh, PCPartsPicker.com. Oh my god, it's a whale! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, that thing is big. Oh my god, it's another one! These aren't even the- Oh, Jesus. These aren't even the Apex What? Electroreceptors <laughs> at each side of the hammerhead's cartilaginous skull allow them to- Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, you know what? I've seen this video before, this does not end well. Can I grab one of those spor- uh, <laughs> sperm? Let's see if we can grab a sperm whale and, uh... Tail whip it into uh, into the hammerheads. Oh, okay, nope. You know what? I didn't think we could. I didn't think that was possible. And I think I might have just been proven right. Jesus, did you see that? We just clubbed like 20 hammerheads with one hammerhead. That's what I kill, killing 10 hammerheads with one hammerhead. That was supposed to be two birds, one stone reference, but. It just doesn't work. There's too many goddamn hammerheads. It just... it doesn't scale. Looks like the yachts around here, too. This is just chaos. This is absolute chaos. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even see my shark. There's too many sharks. There's too much damn blood in the water. They say a shark can smell a drop of blood a football field away. Um... I think this might be overloading our senses. The insatiable sperm whale needs to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks. Yeah, I can see that. It looks like the ocean mostly consists of hammerhead sharks. Look at the carnage. He doesn't have a fin. He doesn't have shit. He doesn't have a fin. He doesn't have a tail. This is just sad. So, where there are once like 20, that sperm whale down there is honestly, that's, that's, that's terrifying. Level 45, Jesus. We max out at level 30. Maybe that apex sperm whale actually will give us a run for our money. But look at these things. 
That's just pathetic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six carcasses. Oh my god. It's kind of sad. I will say, let me see if I can go into photo mode. Damn it. It's not it's not gonna let me. Photo mode only works half the time. The carnage when you do see it is pretty sweet. And these models are actually really detailed. It's just that, like, look at this eating. I couldn't see a goddamn thing. What the hell happened? Did I eat it? Did it just disappear? It's too... <sighs> that Therein lies my biggest problem with this game. Outside of the combat needing a little more depth, um, the eating part. Like, that's one of the... Let's go after that yacht. That's one of the coolest parts of being a shark, is just eating things indiscriminately. Nice double flip. And the problem is, you just eat so damn fast, I can't see what the hell's happening. Shit, this looks like a, a mafia boat. You know what? I got a plan. Let's launch fish at it. <laughs> that actually sounds like a terrible plan, but what the hell. This seal should do some damage, right? Nope. Just pissed him off. Alright. Maybe, uh... Let's just hop on board like it's a smorgasbord and go to town. How about that? Old school. Jaws style. This son of a bitch is strafing me. Look at that. I can't stray faster than the yacht! There we oh, damn it. It's actually really difficult to jump as the Megalodon. This is the final evolution in the game, and honestly, they kind of ruined the jumping. I don't know what... Oh my god. That's an orca. Sorry, yacht. You're just gonna have to wait. for the bull to be cautious, as killer whales are well-known predators of several shark species. Killer whales are awesome. It's like a shark, but a whale. Which is scarier, it's like the ocean's bear. Polar bear. I need some health. That yacht already shot me full of holes. <laughs> and now this killer whale's bound to bite me full of holes. Yo, check this out. BAM! Bitch slapped him in the face with a seal. If that's not humiliating, I don't know what is. We're thrashing in Orca, my goodness. It's things like that that make this game cool. In my opinion, all they had to do... We just tail whipped him. Those <laughs> bitching. The best thing this game could have done is take a note out of Doom Eternal's book. Know when to let some frames hang. Like, when, when we're biting on these things, when we're thrashing them, ripping the shreds, they need to just hang on it. Just for a, a split second. Just for a couple frames. That's gonna add so much... Holy crap, this thing's really beat up. That's gonna add so much weight to the attacks. Instead, we get this really strange, hungry, hungry hippo animation. And look at that, he just disappears. There is dismemberment in this game. How it should work is there should be dismemberment as you're ripping apart your foe, and then, uh, you eat the parts that you dismembered. See the yachts allow them to pursue their wins in a legally murky venue devoid of safety regulations and statutory obligations. <laughs> we look like something out of Halo. Good lord. Or Destiny. Alright, we're on the boat, boys! Looks like Mafia's back on the menu. Two discos, circular staircases, and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis' second most ostentatious job. When you can actually land on top of these boats and just go to town, it's pretty damn satisfying. But what I was saying earlier, uh, this is the final evolution, right? This is the Megalodon. Uh, they really butchered the jumping in the final evolution. I don't know what the heck they did to it. Oh, crap. We had a hunted sperm whale. Is that a great white? Yep. Let's go after him. This should be fun. Those orcas look so good. Honestly, every single model in this game looks really good, except for the humans. The humans don't look that great, 
And we look a little cartoony, but the seals almost look uh, photorealistic. The orca almost looks photorealistic. I don't think that's our sperm whale. Does this smell unusual, or is that just poor That's not my huckleberry. Great wine. Check this out. And for our final move, we bitch slap into the wall. <laughs> In a matter of three seconds. Oh god, another orca. Hopefully he doesn't see me down here. In a matter of three seconds, we ripped all of his fins off. We ripped his tail off. He's just... He's just a pile of gore. We're too damn powerful. Hunted sperm whales up here. I guarantee you this is going to be a piece of cake. I'm going to go about it smart. If I can find a shark, I'll use that as a projectile. Hey, look, a boat. That's actually pretty cool looking. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. If any of you are <laughs> Jerry Smith super fans or Cyril Figgis stands, this is the game for you. I think this may hold the record for the uh, most voice lines a voice actor has had in a single video game. Where'd he go? He was just here. Oh, there he is. Another thing that's odd is that this game doesn't have a mini-map, unlike Jaws Unleashed. I'm not sure why exactly it doesn't have a mini-map, because some of the urban areas are actually really difficult to... Oh, look at that. We got a great one. No, no, it's only a Mako. Still. Watch this. <laughs> oh, God, that never gets old. See, I think tail-whipping sharks would work just as well if this game was a little more grounded and realistic looking, you know? <laughs> it would make it that much cooler. How the hell did that thing just swiftly dodge my attack like it's an underwater ballerina? Whoa! This is gonna be our... This is gonna be our trial, right here. Because that is a hunted sperm whale. That should be the most difficult foe we've faced yet. Until we get to the apex sperm whale. I mean, it's really, really big. So... If we can handle this thing without healing, we should be good for the Apex version. The Apex version is going to be bigger, it's going to be meaner, and it's going to have a few more tricks up its sleeve. That's another thing. Sometimes I know I hit this, uh, this guy, you know? I, uh, I'm maybe a foot away from him, like literally, in the game I'm a foot away from him and I bite him. And it says I missed the bite. That was awesome! He just tail whipped me to the bottom of the ocean. Anyway, I know I didn't miss that damn bite. But there's like, uh, it's RNG, you know? The shark's black alien eye is firmly fixed on Oh, this is close. This is close. And then when we defeat him, he just turns into a bunch of chunks like this is Conker's Bad Fur Day. I don't know. This game is really close to being, uh... It, it, it's close to being what I want. Everything that I want out of a shark game, but it's just not quite there. To be fair, this is pretty much the only shark game, so... <laughs> your options are limited. But I would totally recommend this game for about 20 or 30 bucks. I was at Walmart the other day, and I saw this game for 30 bucks. And it just came out, so I guess the retail price for the PS4 copy is 30 bucks. Yet... Oh, that's disgusting. We bit his tail off. He's just wiggling! He looks more like a worm than a shark. Anyway, I guess the retail price for the PS4 copy is 30 bucks. That's a hell of a lot better than 40 bucks on PC for digital. I'll never understand how or why 
Well, I guess I understand why they have deals with Walmart and stuff, but... I just don't think I agree with the fact that PC games are higher priced than uh, physical console games. PC digital should be cheaper than physical console or physical PC. I just think that's, uh, that's kind of lame. That should be changed. Maybe once GameStop is finally gone, we'll be just a little bit closer to digital games being cheaper than their physical counterparts. But we're not quite there yet. Is 35 bucks an all right price? Acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. I would say 35 bucks is an all right price if you really like what you're seeing here, because it sounds like I complain about this game a lot. It's just that, um, a lot of YouTubers are really, really, really positive all the time. And I'm not one of those, uh, angry YouTubers, air quotes, <laughs> but, um, I mean, I've been playing this game for like 10 hours and I've been having a blast, honestly, despite its issues. It's just that when a game is so close to being great, when it's so close to being great, I can't help but lament the fact that it's coming up a little bit short. But for 35 bucks, if you really like what you see, it might be worth it to you. It's just about 11 hours long, keep that in mind. Uh, the combat doesn't have a lot of depth. Honestly, I've barely broken a sweat in any of my given encounters. Speaking of which, here's a hunted great white shark. This should be one of the more dangerous enemies in the game. Let's see how that works out for it. And he's dead. My health is still full. Here's another great white. Thrash him around a little bit, got him in our jaws, and now he's in our stomach. Swordfish. And he's dead. A little too easy, but that's probably going to be patched. I'm just a little bit surprised. Has detected vibrations in the water and is searching for their source. I'm just a little bit surprised as to um, the difficulty on launch. Like, they can patch it, sure. But what about the playtesting? Seals, Mahi Mahi, even Swordfish. I can get why they're going to be on the easier end, especially when you're uh, a Megalodon like I am. But, deeper combat mechanics would be really nice. Anyway, what else do we got? Let's go kill some humans. I wonder if this is going to be at one of those oil wells I saw. There's one way in the distance. I assume those are just... interest for the horizon line. This is the fastest uh, shark build that we're playing as right now, by the way. Well, almost the fastest. We've got the bonehead, which is great for ramming ships. And if you want to pick up a snack, it's great for that, too. <laughs> oh, I've never seen one of these before. That looks awesome. Hey, pretty good looking boat you guys have here. Another reckless campaign of extermination. I've actually never played uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, so... I don't know if I'm going to play Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I think it's great that they're remastering some older games. Like... What's another one? They're not just... Oh, ch the Chex Mix game. You guys remember that? I can't remember what it was called. It was something like Chex Mix Blast or Chex Mix 3D Blast. Chex Quest. That's what it was. Back in the day, way back in the day, in Chex cereal boxes. Oh my god. Look at all those hammerheads. The hunt ends. Sperm whale, too. In the eternal struggle between man and nature. You know, this is actually a pretty creepy area. This is really creepy. Okay, well, let's get to business, huh? 
Anyway, uh, there was this game back in the day called Chex Quests. You could buy a box of Chex cereal, and odds are, during this short period of time, that box of Chex cereal would have a CD in it. And that CD would have a Doom clone, Chex Quest. Well, they recently remastered it for free. You can download it on Steam and play it. And I think it's so cool that game companies are going back to these older games that have been underappreciated and forgotten in the last 10 years. And they're going back and they're remastering them, like Battle for Bikini Bottom, um, Crash Team Racing, Chex Quest, stuff like that. It's really cool. Obviously, we got the big ones. Those are we're definitely going to be remastered, like Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, uh, Final Fantasy, but how about some of these smaller games like Armored Core for Answer? That would be nice. Or, um, well, Saints Row just got a remaster too. That's a bigger game, but still, it's not like a AAA like uh, Resident Evil was. Mafia getting a remaster. Shadow of the Colossus got a remaster fairly recently. Uh, Medieval. I just really appreciate. Um, developers lately seeming to appreciate older titles more. I feel like, uh, between 2010 and 2018, older games are just kind of underappreciated across the board. Not only by the publishers, but by gamers as well. Oh my god, it's an oil tanker. I thought it was gonna be an oil derrick like the ones you see in the distance. <laughs> What's on my face? I guess it looks like barnacles, doesn't it? It's bone armor. Bone size ready. Jesus, look at this. Oh, this thing's mining. This is made up technology, isn't it? I wonder if I can disconnect the pipes. <laughs> the level of pollution in this game. Oh my god. I wish it was an exaggeration. Well, let's go kill some humans. <laughs> oh yeah, Kill All Humans! That's another game that's getting a remaster. Oh, come on! Yes! We're on the deck, flopping like a fish. But where are the humans? Consume five. So, this is a bit of a ghost crew, I guess. I don't see any humans. Maybe they're toward the back. <laughs> we can practically fly. Where are these guys? This is really strange. It it almost looks like they're down below. Are they the arrows? Oh, they're the divers. My bad. I didn't realize they'd go on my turf. It's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. We've had some real bad fish kills because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. <laughs> oh my god. So this game takes place in Florida, and honestly, the commentary in reference to Florida, it's it's satirical, but it's pretty spot on, nevertheless. A little too spot on. All right, we gotta kill 10 more hammerheads, and then I think we finally have our face-off against the Apex Sperm Whale, which is gonna be really, really big. Yeah, that would be cool. See, things like this game is totally in the vein of old school. I like that I'm calling PS3 and Xbox 360 old school. Oh my God. This is not like uh, Xbox or PS2. Um, it's more like Xbox 360, PS3 games, like Tokyo Jungle, for example. It's that level, A and a half, double A games, which is great. I, f I love those games. Um, the last 10 years, it's been mostly triple A, but single and double A are awesome. It's forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. So anyway, during the days of the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3, you'd have tons of games like this. 
and they would just have the craziest stuff. It was awesome. This game needs a first-person mode, even if it's not super polished, you know, even if it's not something that you wouldn't want to spend the whole game inside of. Just for the fun of it, give us a first-person mode. Give us a super shark mode, maybe some sort of a power-up where we become like four times the size of the Megalodon that we are right now. That would be great. That'd be fun. Cheats? How about cheats? Where we can, um, like go four times max speed. Game-breaking stuff, in other words. That's what that's what this game needs, because it's already cartoony, you know, it's already kind of arcadey. Just go all the way. Hell, let us play as a sperm whale. Unfortunately, I think some of that stuff may be coming in DLC. I don't know if it's going to be paid or free, but... If this game had a first-person mode, if it lets you play as different sharks, even if it was in a limited, like, bonus mode capacity, um, if it had a slightly more in-depth combat system, I'd say it would be worth 40 bucks. But I saw this game at Walmart for 30 bucks. I guess that's the normal price for the PS4 version. I think uh, 30 bucks is, uh, I'd pay that. That's what I paid for the PC version because I had a coupon. <laughs> I had a coupon. <laughs> uh. You've got whale. An intimidating competitor, this sperm whale possesses a devastating combination of power and <laughs> spermaceti. Okay, well, we've got, as far as I know, the final apex ahead of us. He's a fair ways out, but... I feel very confident in the fact that we're going to ace this. And then the final, final battle against Scaly Pete, I'm assuming, is directly after. Yeah, being a flying shark would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, check out the seals. Look at this. Let me see if I can go into photo mode. Damn it! That's so, that's such bullshit. The photo mode just straight up doesn't work sometimes. I mean, it works, it just doesn't allow us to use it, which is worse. This isn't a multiplayer game, so why can't I go into photo mode any anytime I want? You cannot photograph in-game videos or cutscenes or menus or certain gameplay moments. Um. Well, I'm not in any of those, so what kind of a gameplay moment am I in? Just surfing around the open world where I can't use the photo mode. Hey, look! Wait, wait, there we go, there we go! Shark Donuts, baby! We have reached the peak. It's all downhill from here. This is the end game, ladies and gentlemen. Shark Donuts. Wow, look at that. It's a zero turn shark. Okay. <sighs> Enough stalling. You gonna bark all day, little doggy? Are you gonna bite? We're gonna bite. Except it's not a doggy. It's a shark. And we're going after a sperm whale. Mouths open. Come on in. We're getting pretty close. I'm actually kind of excited. This should be good. Would you buy this or the Predator game? I- they're both around the same price. They're both double-A games. I would buy this instead of, uh... I mean, I would buy Predator Hunting Grounds instead of this. Personally, but this is single player. That's multiplayer. So they're actually very very different games hunted orca. Are you kidding me? All right guys. It looks like we got a little trial before the main show Hunted are They're second in line to apex so The sleep rover is acutely alert to the presence of the this is supposed to be a bit of a challenge. That's that was actually a pretty nice tail whip. Hey, look, we got a bunch of humans nearby. And more importantly, we have a swordfish. Which means... BAM! <laughs> you know what would be awesome? If you tail whip certain fish, like the swordfish, into other fish, 
it would affect, uh, it, it would work differently. Like, a swordfish being tail whipped into the orca would be different than a seal. It'd be more like a projectile. Maybe it would cause some bleeding damage. I feel like that would be pretty sweet. That'd be a good addition. Maybe even see the swordfish sticking out of the orca for a few seconds. That would be fun. Oh, we just got tail whipped ourselves. So that's what that feels like. Still, that was a piece of cake. Okay, I think we're ready for the sperm whale. The cetacean assassin, the sperm whale. They're going full Moby Dick with his appearance. I like it. Oh, dear God. He's a monster. Jesus. Oh, my God. He really is big. But what's with him being covered in oil? I'm guessing... Oh, my God. He's got great melee. I'm guessing the oil's a gameplay modifier, but... He looks so much cooler without the oil. And the orcas do the same thing. They're just covered in oil for almost the entire fight. Watch out for that tail whip. He can literally tail whip, it, whip us to the bottom of the ocean. Are you kidding me? I've already got one to deal with, damn it. So the apex sperm whale is a lot bigger than the normal normal uh, sperm whale. He's uh, at least twice as big, which is really cool. And he's got a unique design. He's got just about a million harpoons in him. Uh, are these humans? What are these? Oh my god, it's a bunch of divers. Alright. Looks like we got ammunition. Damn, that did a lot of... Oh, never mind, I was looking at the human's health bar. The human is still alive after being tail whipped by a shark into a sperm whale. That's pretty incredible. Damn, that's fun! You know what? I just realized we have our ultimate ability. Let's activate it. After we do that. Alright, ultimate is activated. Let's start the show. Damn it, he's so close to the surface. He's not really doing anything though in this fight. He's just kind of rolling over, literally. I mean, we do have some modifiers that have a mild stunning effect, so maybe that's what that was. But it's really annoying fighting near the surface of the water because it just... it snaps you to the surface. It's like, um, you're either on the surface or you're under the water. There's not really an in-between. Back in the good old days, the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet sperma sound. Well, that was really, really easy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's next? We gotta kill some humans. Oh, that's always fun. But that was, I think, the final apex predator. And the largest apex predator, that's for sure. I think we still have the final boss battle against Scaly Pete's, what looks like a, a Navy warship. But, I was kind of hoping that sperm whale would be tougher. Turns out the Megalodon still reigns supreme. And this surprises no one. Except maybe that sperm whale, he was pretty big. If I was as big as that big boy, I think I would win too. Human's attention spans are short. We've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so that's things the about. Port Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace. The university sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. I guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? That was a 10 out of 10 landing. Oh my god. <laughs> that was great! Oh my god, look at this mayhem! 
I'm break dancing with purple lightning, apparently. Wow, I really shouldn't have fallen asleep in marine biology class. This is some pretty amazing stuff. Jesus Christ, this is total chaos! This is more chaos than just cause three mods. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny, you know, I used to employ strategies against against these boats and human hunters. Now I just I just mess shit up. I can barely tell what's happening. This is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm supposed to be, like, tail whipping these, uh, sticks of dynamite back of these boats. But I don't even really need to do that. I just flip around. I slap him a little bit. I don't know what happens exactly, but the boat explodes. And that's really all I want to see. It kind of looks like I'm just... Eating the dynamite in midair. It's just all belly flops and body slams. And breakdance, let's not forget about that. Holy shit, guy, get off the boat. What's wrong with you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Orca. What the hell's going on? <laughs> I need to get some help. Stat. God, we got like no health. I'm gonna try to kill this orca without healing up. Let's see how well that works out for us. I don't want to die though. What? Holy crap! We are thrashing an orca. You know how big those things are? I wonder if you can thrash a sperm whale. Those are like three times our size. Yeah. See, that's that's some bullshit right there. I definitely landed that bite. I landed that bite. The RNG said I didn't. Jesus. Wait, is that another orca? It is! Will this never end? So, unlike Grand Theft Auto, I can't really tell when the... There's just a, a, there's just a steady influx of shark hunters and they never stop. Ever. Uh, let's get out of here. That's the thing, you, you have to break it off because I was winning. Are you winning, son? Yeah, dad, I'm spamming the right trigger and I'm winning. Yeah, I was just spamming the right trigger, just killing them all over and over again, including the orca. All right, the shark hunters and the orca and their damn boats, I was killing them all. And that would have gone on to etor eternity because, uh, that's how it be. They don't stop coming, and neither does the can of ass woman. They're both perpetual. It's a never-ending cycle. Speaking of the never-ending cycle, we've got some more humans to kill. What the hell is going on here? Oh my god. Kyle. I was really into scuba back when he was a teenager. This museum's the first place I took him after he got certified.
Wow. Well, that was something else. <laughs> I think, uh... Yeah, we got another yacht, a couple more humans to kill, and then... I'm guessing it's gonna be the fight against Scaly Peep. We gotta get to, uh... Like... Also, let's... I think we got an upgrade, so let's go check that out. Um... I think we gotta get to 50%. Caviar Key provides a scenic setting for humanity's destructive impact on the natural world. This game is such... The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. This game is such a non-stop bombardment of chaos. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Jerry Smith never stops talking. The action is a non-stop bombardment of absolute insanity to the nth degree. And, um, I, th <laughs> I think it's driving me insane. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, I am, but I think it's giving me ADHD. It's so quick and nuts. 24-7. All the time. Alright, uh, we had, uh, hold on, what is this? 7 out of 8, right, we got one more landmark to get before we get a new shark's head. The Shadow Shark. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. We got the bonehead right now. I wanna get a full set. Another bounty hunt comes to a close. So we're gonna go visit SeaWorld. Uh, once we get this final head from SeaWorld, we will have all the sets of the game. Boyblader Forever says, kill people, be man-eater. I like your enthusiasm, boy. I should have said that more like Kratos. Boy! That's not like Kratos at all. It's like if Kratos had a hernia and smoked too much. Uh, there's some sort of a collectible around here, and that's going to give us the final head. I just don't know where it is exactly. Oh, there it is. Well, that was easy. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old sealed carcass. Well, we have all the sets. Let's go complete it. This game in VR would make me puke. I can play Wipeout in VR. The fastest ra racing game ever made, but this? I don't think I can play this in VR. It's too much. You gotta know your limits and I know mine. Roller coaster drunk? Sure, I could do that. If industrial civilization is just one among many that have risen and fallen, then you can finally surrender peacefully to our inevitable collapse. Jerry Smith never stops talking. The action is so fast and immense, I can't keep track of anything. Um... You can kill things instantaneously, and it's so quick and... At such a, 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 a blazing speed, it's so snappy and chaotic. It's a bombardment on all senses. Yeah, this game is on PS4 and Xbox For more One. For three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. I'll try the Optimus Prime impression, but, uh, hey Siri, set the air conditioning to 70 degrees. The it's not really 70 degrees. The globe in constant motion. It says it's cooling to 70 degrees, but it's not. I think it's because Siri's tied to it. Anything that Siri touches goes to pot. It really does. Siri is incredibly frustrating. Okay, time to kill some humans. Well, first, time to take out the trash. I 
Okay, now it's time to kill some humans. Oh, looks like Coastal they're diving for treasure. Analysis reveals that someday someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. A bounty has been posted. I said Captain Blatty sunk his treasure somewhere around here. Funding a diving expedition every year for 10 years, and I ain't found it yet. I'm guessing there's an Easter egg around here somewhere that's got a bunch of treasure. There's an it Easter egg. There's a. Charged with gene altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. There's a Rick and Morty Easter egg. This game's packed with Easter eggs. It's a lot like Far Cry or Assassin's Creed in terms of the open world. The open world is just. Packed to the gills, pun intended, with collectibles and collectibles and collectibles. <laughs> it's, it's all collectibles. The whole way down. Alright, let's go kill a two million dollar yacht. Apparently, we're gonna destroy it by breakdancing. This is so Saints Row. Especially the purple explosions. <laughs> it looks just like. Which one was the Saints Row with the superpowers? Saints Row the third? Or is it the fourth? I can't remember. They just remastered Saints Row the Third, I think. I think it might have been Saints Row Four. That's the one that jumped the shark. Pun intended. So there's one more thing we gotta do after we kill uh, Scaly Pete, and that's uh, maxing out our infamy rank. We actually may need to do that before we can fight Scaly Pete. So let's just go back here and kill some more humans. No, there's not more than three evolutions right now. There's, uh, you got the different stages of life. There's the pup, there's the teen, there's the adult, the elk. Well, actually, you have a bunch of stages of life. Uh, pup, teen, adult shark, elder shark, and then megalodon, which is this one, the final one. Uh, and you have three evolutions. The bone set of, uh, well... They're called evolution sets, so they're not really evolutions. They're just, they're kind of sets of armor that modify gameplay and stats, and you can mix and match them. You've got the bone set, the shadow set, and the uh, electric set, whatever that one's called. That's it. Bone, electric, and shadow. It'd be cool if there were more, because there's not too much to this game. It's, it's pretty simple, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, I'm not gonna say bare bones, but what you see is what you get. It'd be cool if they gave you something for 100%ing the game, but I don't think that they do. They give you something for 100%ing all the landmarks, but there's like three more types of collectibles past those, so... Dubstep Gun is the fourth. Saints Row 4, yes. Dubstep Gun, Dubstep Shark. <laughs> Literally, it, it, this is so Saints Row. If they made a Saints Row 5 and there was a bonus mode where you could play as a shark, that's this game. It's absolute Saints Row chaos. It's got Saints Row humor. It's, it kind of looks like Saints Row, the, the art style. It's like this slick, um, somewhat cartoony look. 
Some things are realistic, like the aquatic life for the most part is pretty realistic looking. The seals almost look photorealistic. I got up close to them with photo mode and I was really shocked at how good they look. So I really should be going after these ships with the bone shark configuration. Still cannot provide a set of rules to assure the safety of all ocean goers. Uh, this evolution that we're playing as right now, the shadow evolution, it's built for speed. The bone shark is built for busting boats. It's also the slowest evolution. I mean, you can mix and match. Like, I could have put the bone head on our shark and maybe, uh, maybe the bone body and kept the shadow fins. That would have made us pretty quick, but also pretty good for ramming. The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear. It reminds me, I could go for another Singapore. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clones. That was a pretty good flip. Yeah, we're using this shadow set right now. Once we finish off grabbing some of these collectibles, we're at 45%. I think we just need to get to 50% and then we can finally engage in the, the final ocean battle. The is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal. But mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. Yeah, that should totally be the credit song of the game. You know what? We're actually nah. Let's let's go after the collectibles first. Is this Florida's version of the Statue of Liberty? I really hope that it is. Poseidon of Liberty. Where is... Oh, look at that! Well, this kind of looks like, um... Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. Hmm. You know what? I don't see a... Oh, it keeps going on. This is almost creepy. It's a little bit like Pompeii. Florida's Pompeii. My favorite part about this game's humor... Wow, this actually is like a little underwater city. My favorite part about this game's humor is how... The humans are just... Yes, it's this, quite beautiful. Every single person is a Florida man. You got, uh, you got boats crashing up on sandbars that are just a couple hundred feet away from the actual mainland. The Gulf Stream brings warm and they died like they were Tom Hanks the in Castaway. Seaside Not that town. Tom so Hanks dies in Castaway. Not that he doesn't. You should just watch the movie if you haven't seen it already. It's hard not spoiling things that are already part of popular culture. Jaws PS2 is still the best shark game in my opinion. And it may not be as slick as this game is. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Beautiful! Okay, we are at 47%. We now have all the evolutions. We are the mega, the final stage of the shark's life. We're about to hit, I'm assuming, what's going to be the final battle and then the credits of the game. So, let's get it on. Also, can I talk about the best renaissance that's happening in gaming right now? Instead of video game adaptations of uh, movies, we're getting a wave of what's... Vigilante fever has seized Port Clovis, making it dangerous for any... You better believe those sewer lines need work. I've had campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, partner, that ain't no joke. There's so much dialogue in this game all the time. It's really difficult to get a word in edgewise. Anyway, um, instead of uh, video game adaptations like we had in the 2010s, we had so many video game adaptations of uh, movies, and they weren't really good. Well, now we are having a wave of 
video game reimaginings. Like Friday the 13th, which was pretty good. Uh, Predator Hunting Grounds, obviously based on the Predator franchise. I actually really enjoy that game despite its flaws. We have this, which is obviously um, a, a cartoony, like, uh, throwaway to Jaws. And we have a Planet of the Apes game that's coming out. I'm really excited about that, and I'd like to see more of this. I don't know what other movies I'd like to be gamified. And there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. But I, I would have liked to have seen an asymmetrical shooter with Jaws. Humans on a boat, one player playing as a, as a shark. Maybe multiple sharks, multiple boats, I don't know. Sea sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. How cute! We're doing a little donut on SpongeBob's lawn. This game is... It has so many flavors of Ubisoft. Alright, so we are now at 50% of the gulf. Um... There it is. Pete is putting the finishing touches on his terrifying, definitely illegal, for civilian use, new death machine. Uh, what would be illegal for civilian use? Maybe, uh... Naval Destroyer? I'm pretty sure that's what this is gonna be. This is gonna be fun. Although, where is this? Great, it's right next to our grotto. So, let's get out of combat. I'm assuming it's these two sharks. This is like, uh, when anybody corners John Wick, especially in an alley. The bull shark is an opportunistic feeder Shouldn't have done that. Solitary hunter. We're gonna swap out our shadow configuration for the bone evolution, the which we now have a full set of. For refuge and quiet reflection. It is impossible not to talk over, uh, Chris Parnell. He has a voice line at least every minute, sometimes multiple times a minute. And then there's other voices on top of his, so it's impossible to talk without talking over somebody. Beautiful! We have a full tier 5 bone shark. Can we upgrade the health? Yes, just barely. Great, we have tier 5 everything. Check it out. Can we go into photo mode? No, we cannot. That's a shame. You can only do that sometimes. You can do it when it lets you, but you can't do it when it doesn't. <laughs> and it's very erratic. What is your plan? What is my plan? I have a plan! You don't need to question my leadership! I have a goddamn plan and it is gonna be good. We are gonna get Scaly Pete a taste of his own medicine. Shark fin soup, anybody? Don't question me again, Arthur. I won't allow it. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved? You think I'm crazy? No, I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when some, some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat. What can you do? The f I say! <laughs> Hope you got armor on! We serving shark ain't to fair tonight! You know, it's almost comical. Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? It's, uh. <laughs> It's almost a little bit- oh my god, this bone shark really does look good. It's almost a little bit comical, this giant warship going against the single shark. 
almost seems like Pete's gone insane until you remember that this shark literally breakdances on beaches upon the heaps and piles of hundreds of Floridians. He's a, he's a killing machine. This is like nature's deadliest predator ever. And unfortunately, he's also one of the slowest because this is the bone evolution and not the shadow because we're going up against the boat. I'm actually wondering if this is going to be, uh, is this going to be tough? Because honestly, I haven't had a single tough battle since the Barracuda, and that's when we were a teen. Yeah, that boat doesn't look so big. We've taken down bigger. Looks like Pete's going to need a bigger boat. But that does have a mouth painted on it. Hello there, girly. As you can see, I came prepared today. Nobody ever considers the mouth factor. Oh, I'm gonna fix you up real early. She looks like a wreck of the show. So he took a he took a note from Red uh, Red Alert Two, and he put some Tesla coils on the bottom of his boat. Those are shark shields. Oh God! Okay, that's pretty cool. So he's got um, torpedoes he's launching at us. We can grab the torpedoes in our mouth. And we just dodge them, grab them, and launch them. Except I think I just hit that diver with a torpedo. Wait, did we destroy both those Tesla coils already? I thought they were just disabled. Wow. Time to go super shark. I thought that was her talking. <laughs> okay, yeah, they were just disabled. That makes sense. You know what? This is no less chaotic, or no more chaotic, rather, than uh, any normal battle that we get involved with when hunters are nearby. They're always this level of chaos. Never lower than this level of chaos. I could actually use some more of those torpedoes. So the biggest problem is, uh, the best way to take down these boats is really just spamming attacks. Um, sure you could grab humans or fish and launch them at the boats, or you could even bat dynamite back at the boats, but the time <laughs> and the tension it takes to do that, you're just better off spamming ram. And just biting the hell out of them until they look like Swiss cheese. It doesn't exactly reward skill-based play, which is too bad, because I think that would really add something. Did that torpedo? I think that torpedo just hit me. Or the torpedo hit the human I had in my mouth, which is way better. Wow, I actually missed. All right, we got one down. Ironically, I took down both of them last time with one torpedo. I guess my aim's getting worse. Can't teach an old shark new tricks. Oh, crap. Yeah, it looks like it's defaulting to the front. My bad. Somehow I got lucky last time. I didn't even need to aim. By the way, the aim sucks in this game.
laisser les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people, and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Man Eater. You know what this game reminds me of? Split Second. That was a great game. It, if you don't know about Split Second, it's surprisingly a lot like Maneater. It's just constant bombardment of destruction and chaos, except you're a stunt car driver. And you're basically driving through Hollywood movie sets where there's like Apache helicopters shooting missiles or uh, a giant semi. That looks like something from Twisted Metal on a, on a roaring rampage of revenge. And uh, it was great. It was really fun. And it was like 40 bucks on launch, kind of like this is. It said you may continue to eat, grow, and evolve, but um, we can't really grow any more evolutions found. We found all the physical evolutions, the remaining evolutions, uh, the remaining two are just stat based. And. Well, actually, no. Wait a second. We got to. Yeah, there's one more thing we have to do. We're already it's mega. The grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Where are we? Sperm whale. Oh, we're still in the Gulf. So we're already a mega. We've got all the uh, sets, at least I think that we do, but we have one final thing to do before the game is complete, and that is we gotta kill the cap. He's the final infamy rank. I'm not sure what happens when you complete all the infamy ranks, but I guess we're about to find out. We're playing as the Bone Shark, and the Bone Shark is the shark you want to go to when you got a boat problem. They're not just going to need a bigger boat. They're going to need no boat. <laughs> because boats are our speciality. If anything... the safety of the public, a bounty has been placed on the fugitive shark. If anything, they'll be safer without a boat, because I might miss a small human being, but these boats? Oh, they're a piece of cake. Especially when they group up like this. Yeah, Prototype. Prototype was great. Infamous. Infamous and Prototype were amazing games. Spider-Man PS4 was really fun. But for some reason, I feel like the first and second Infamous were pretty much superhero game perfection. Speaking of superhero games, the newest Avengers game, I don't know if it's gonna be as good as those. This is absolutely ridiculous, the level of chaos. I never thought I'd say this, but I think I need less chaos. I think they need to tone it down a little bit. If everything's chaos, then nothing is. Wait, what the hell is this? A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Wait a second, didn't the shark die? Well, I think what you saw there was called uh, a TV ending. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure, but my theory is. Uh, the whole campaign is... Oh, uh, what the hell? In the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters. The whole campaign is done in the vein of, um, re reality TV, and it's a satirical take on it. So, I think maybe that was supposed to be dramatized. That, too, was dramatized, and the shark was almost like an actor. Or it's just a continuity error. <laughs> it's probably the second. All right, we got the cap around. Let's see where he is. Oh, there he is. He's got a shark shield. The beast of the fleet, Captain Robert Brunflett. All right, uh, 
How are we gonna take that down? I think I can just attack it. I don't need torpedoes. Unlike Pete's vessel. That was Navy. This, I think, is just city. Oh, God, we're about to die. Woo! Oh, he's got torpedoes. He's got torpedoes. That's new. I guess Infamy Rank 10 is a hell of a lot different than 9 because I haven't seen any of these boats having torpedoes before I got to Scaly Pete. I thought Scaly Pete was unique, but it looks like he's just another fish in the sea. So we'll wait for some torpedoes and then we'll take down the cap right quick. Oh my god, there's a sperm whale. You know what? What the hell? Let's bring him into it. This is absolutely insane. Honestly, this plays more like a superhero game. This is... This is the weirdest genre that we've never had before. It's a superhero game where you're not playing as a humanoid. So that the dangerous species doesn't become too obvious. It's a superhero shark. I've never heard of that before. I've heard of, you know, men turning into sharks. And then they're like super villains. <laughs> but this is just a straight up shark. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian. But only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers and the Wise Logists. We have just destroyed the captain. We are at infamy rank 10. That is maximum infamy. And we just uh, are treating this boat like a buffet. Oh my god, the level of action here is almost... No, it is ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. 100%. Even within the logic of this game, it's a little much. Okay, let's get out of here. So, uh... The gulf is vast. We've got everything now. I mean, there's technically one more mutation that we don't have, and I think that mutation... Uh, we just need to find all the landmarks in the gulf, which we may already have. Yeah, we've almost got all of them. But the thing is, the Gulf Stream another is sperm just whale. Many major currents that mariners have used since time immemorial to circumnavigate the globe. None of those are physical manifestations of uh, gameplay changes. They're just stat changes. They don't change the look of your shark. And they don't really change any of the visible gameplay effects. They don't give you new moves. They don't give you new, uh... They don't give you new combos. Not that there are any combos. That would be great. But this is it. We completed the game. I think I played for about... Uh, nine hours? I mean, I left it running sometimes. Let's see if it tells me how long we've spent... It might tell me inside of the main menu, but anyway, we got all the evolutions. And I paid about 30 bucks for this game. I don't know. I like it, but... I don't know if I'd recommend it for 40. This is what the shark looks like, stripped down without all the superhero gear. It's almost like you got superhero costumes. Who's the guy that talks to fish and the boys? I think he'd get along with this shark just fine. Honestly, I kind of just wish I could play as the default shark. This looks pretty damn good. If I could play as him with whatever gameplay modifiers I wish, that'd be pretty cool. Actually, it's weird. Swimming around as the normal shark after seeing that superhero shark. Look at that. I honestly can't picture this shark flipping around. But, it can, and it will. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, we don't have the powers. We can't turn into lightning or anything. But we can do a somersault in midair. I think that's pretty impressive. 
I'm taking a big risk here. Woo! Just paid off. We are at very low health, but I'm gonna try to take that boat down nevertheless. Oh god. It's really hard platforming with a shark. <laughs> there we go, baby! We went full jaws. Oh my god! Mid-air, backflip, backflop, human eating. That was sweet. Well, that's it. We've completed the game. With a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. There's more hunters, but there's always going to be more hunters. They never stop coming. Oh, jeez. Dude. Can you guys still hear me? I didn't notice the lag until just now. Um, so I don't even know if you can hear me. Sorry about that. I'm trying to fix it. I don't know if I can. Oh, God. Five minutes ago? Really? Well, that sucks. So, um, I lowered the bitrate. I don't know if I can fix the lag. Okay, you guys can hear me apparently. Well, ugh, that sucks. I don't know where this lag came from. I'm trying to see how long I've spent playing this game. Oh, oh, wait. That's right, it shows you when you continue. Okay, so you can hear me fine. Awesome. Yep. Um, yeah. That sucks. We played the game for... About 11 hours, I'm going to say, because I actually left it running for a while yesterday when I wasn't playing it. But yeah, uh, just about 11 hours on the dot if you want to 100% the game, which I've basically done. I've shown you, uh, like, we got all the evolutions. The only thing that I haven't gotten is uh, all the crates, which just give us materials. The air out here has a distinctive smell. That of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. I think the shadow's the best set. Let me see if I can uh, upgrade the head to tier 5. I don't know if we have enough. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, we should have enough. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, so it's still lagging. But I've upgraded... Oh man, that is quick. That is really quick. <laughs> we can jump entirely too high. Alright, looks like the lag is kind of gone. If you can, I would refresh the page. Scarcity and declining living standards. It's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. Yeah, lag is sort of gone, mostly. It's as good as it's going to get for now, but we just upgraded uh, the shadow set. And man, this is really fast. This is actually like the coolest little bit of gameplay modifying I've seen in this game so far. I mostly play as the Bone Shark, so I guess that's why this is such a startling difference, but we've got everything to tier 5. It's fully upgraded. I've shown you all the evolutions that we've got, which is only three. And you've seen every stage of this shark's life, from a pup to a teen to an adult to an elder to a mega, aka this game's Megalodon. And this shadow looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, um, that's it. We just have the three. I don't know what else they do, I guess. We've got electricity, we've got speed, which is this, and we've got brute force. I guess technically you have four because you also have the normal shark. 
if you kind of want to handicap yourself a little bit. And if you want to look really cool, because I think the normal shark looks the coolest. But, yeah, that's the shadow. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending how you look at it, I was actually just about to end the stream because, well, there's something I gotta take care of, but also, I have, uh, we've completed the game, it's now 100 percent we've done everything that there is to do, and I'm gonna be streaming again tomorrow, we're gonna be streaming the new Predator Hunting Grounds DLC, I've been waiting for this, around, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. Central, I'm gonna be streaming and it's gonna be the Arnold Schwarzenegger DLC for Predator Hunting Grounds. Arnie himself voices Dutch. Arnie's back. And he's voicing Dutch. Then it's gonna be good. <laughs> oh, man. Originally, Arnold Schwarzenegger was supposed to be in Predator 2. But instead, we got uh, Danny Glover, who was awesome in Predator 2. I actually really enjoyed it. For what it was. It's not as good as Predator 1, Given the objectively, but it's defeat, very enjoyable. Anyway, originally Arnie was going to be uh, in Predator 2 as the starring role, but that didn't happen. So, I guess this is kind of the first time Arnold Schwarzenegger is returning to Predator. And it's in a game, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. But I'm excited for it. Anyway. I will uh, see you guys again tomorrow, and I thank you very much for joining us for this final Maneater livestream. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting, when I bought this game, um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it, because you've got like two hours to try it out and then you can return it, and I ended up basically 100%ing the game, and I played for like 11 or 12 hours, so I guess I got my money's worth, but... Anyway, that's it for Man Heater, and that's it for me today, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. Once again, thank you, enjoy your Memorial Day Monday, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Predator Hunting Grounds. Yeah, about the same start time as today. Tomorrow. You know what else they need? Okay, I just got a good idea for this game. Make it like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but with a shark. Like if I'm uh, tilting left on the on the on the stick when I'm in the air or when I'm eating, I can do a specific fancy eating move or a fancy flip. That would be so perfect for this game. I understand this game is not trying to be a simulator. That's fine. Make it like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That's my TED talk. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, stay frosty.